Welcome. My name is Jamie Simpson, Executive Chef Liaison here at the Culinary Vegetable Institute. As we get into this season specifically, we start to see Brussels sprouts, you're going to start to see kales, turnips, um, obviously cabbage, and all these different families really seem to thrive over these next, you know, 90 days, which is pretty amazing. This variety specifically um, is cabbage. We're going to get a lot of questions on them, so I thought we might want to answer this now. This is called pointed cabbage, hispy cabbage, sweetheart cabbage, arrowhead cabbage. Uh, we love this cabbage for almost raw applications uh, because it is sweeter. Uh, it's really a, a, nice, a nice variety. So we're going to get into it a little bit in the form of salad. So we're going to take this wedge of heart-shaped pointed cabbage and we're going to blister it really hard, really hot, and pull it off the heat. Uh, it's going to come and go from the pan. But what we're looking for really is a, is a nice black edge on uh, both of these sides of cabbage and the cabbage to remain raw. We're going to dress that in a vinaigrette of reduced cherry vinegar and a little bit of honey, um, an olive oil infused with marigolds. We're going to top it with crispy bits of fried hemp and mustard seeds and herbs and some croutons of sorts, and we're gonna serve it as a salad. In your kitchen, you're gonna need about the hottest surface you can produce. Um, maybe it's in a cast iron, maybe it's in uh, on a grill, but just get it as hot as you can where you can, okay? So let's jump into it. We don't want any fats here, any kind of olive oil or any vegetable, any oils really, all of those things will burn at this temperature, uh, so we're gonna Keep the pan dry, as you see now. While that's searing, we're going to make some croutons, because what's a salad without croutons? This is a rye. You can use anything you want. Old breadcrumbs would be great here. Uh, for the croutons, we're in a dry pan as well. But we're going to just kind of give these a here, right when we're ready to pull these off, we'll add some oil uh, to almost fry them, and we'll dump them. Okay. Because we don't want this cabbage to cook throughout, we're going to dress it now. Again, this is a vinaigrette of reduced uh, cherry vinegar with honey and olive oil. I really like these uh, sugars are nice here. They kind of help uh, balance out the cabbage. Olive oil check. So we've added our uh, olive oil to these croutons. They're kind of frying now. We're going to season them. And we're going to finish them with more crispy bits. And that is a, our, uh, a proper culinary term there. Something uh, that just brings a lot of fun new textures uh, to the salad. In this case, we have fried uh, mustard seeds, some toasted hemp seeds, Save that for later. In your boxes, uh, you'll always find some version of flowers, herbs, and greens. These little envelopes have a lot of flavor, um, and we love them for this particular application. Typically, uh, you'll see us taking these ingredients and leaving them whole. Uh, today, we're just gonna chop them up because we can, and you can too. The marigolds specifically um, that we have infused in our dressing, I'm gonna pull off this outer sepal 
Uh, it's quite fibrous. But everything else, we'll just process gently with a knife. Great. This is going to top our salads. That is that. Um, pretty straightforward. Nice and easy, uh, clean. There's, there's only one pan dirty. Uh, you can make this in minutes uh, once you get the gist of it. Use any dressing, right? Use, use any crispy bits. And that's pretty much that. This is our uh, late summer salad featuring pointed cabbage or crispy cabbage or sweetheart cabbage or arrowhead cabbage. Call it what you will, but it is, uh, in fact, delicious. Mostly raw, charred on the outsides, uh, and dressed with your favorite salad components. That's all there is to it. Enjoy.